Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Wednesday, it is July the 25th, 2018. I'm gonna look at races one and nine from Saratoga, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Um, like I said, I'm gonna look at races one and nine. The first race is a uh, is a jumps race over the uh, over the inner turf course, and the ninth race is the feature flat race of the afternoon. So let's get on to it. The first race it is Jonathan Kaiser Novice Stakes. It's going for a purse seventy-five thousand dollars. This race is for four-year-olds and upwards. Field of seven horses here, going the distance of ground of thirty-three hundred meters. If you want to go by that, or the distance of ground of two miles and one sixteenth over the inner turf course, which happens to be the hurdle course. 3,300 meters, 2 miles and a 16th. And I show the diagram. It just gives me a second to look down at my notes. Sorry, I'm stupid. I can't do two things at the same time. <laughs> my top selection here. I like the five horse, Lord Justice. Going to go 5, 6, 1, 4 in the Super Facta. 5, 6, 1, 4 Super. My top selection, the five horse, Lord Justice. Yeah, Lord Justice. Can't speak. Sean McDermott is on this uh, five year old gun by Zoffany. Jack Fisher trains. You know, this horse has uh, had his most recent outing the 8th of July at Suffolk. A mile and a half and just a basic allowance race for the jumping horses. But it was it was under um, steeplechaser hurdles um, conditions, but they didn't go over. Over him. It was a flat race. This horse that day, he finished fifth by five and a quarter lengths, and he just never really had the, that, that good quickening up that you need that day. Um, you know, it just wasn't his day to win. Before that, two miles and a quarter over the hurdles down in Nashville in the lounge race, he won by seven lengths. He jumped well, and he just had a very easy race. And then before that, uh, two miles and eighth in a hurdle race, April the 14th uh, for 30,000. Um, he did, couldn't find a replay for that race, but he finished second by a neck. And according to the run line, he was first, first, third, second, second. So it looked like he fought back a little bit at the end. And according to the uh, comment line, he just missed. But before that, did find a replay for his race before, before at uh, down in uh, Virginia, October 28th, two miles and eighth, and just a lounge race over the hurdles. He finished second by eight lengths. He closed up well at the end. It, it wasn't a bad race. Something I like about him, he sits a little bit closer to the front end, which I think you need on this um, uh, going uh, the hurdle races here at Saratoga. Remember, there's no stretch hurdle, so you have a very long run in, run in of about uh, three furlongs, and uh, front end horses really do well with that. And um, with this horse sitting in the front, I think he can run well. Also, the ground's going to have a little moisture in it if they run this race. Hopefully, they do. There's a good chance of you know downpours on uh, Wednesday. Um, there's you know there's a good possibility they might cancel this race and, and start off race number two but if they don't cancel it and the ground's yielding or something he should definitely like the going um you know i'll take my chances at seven to two uh keep in mind the pick five and the, uh, the the pick five doesn't start race number one it starts off race number two today so there's a multi-race pick three um that begins with this race instead and um you know i, I going to looking over the multi-race quickly i would use five and six i think it's a two-horse race between those two but to recap my selections now for the first from Saratoga, it's J Jonathan Kaiser Novice. I'm going to go with the five horse, Lord Justice. I'm going to go five, six, one, four in the Superfecta. So we're going to head over to race number nine now from Saratoga. The ninth race is the feature flat event of the uh, afternoon. The ninth race, it's the 27th running of their honorable Miss Handicap. Grade two, purse $200,000, which Phillies Mayors, three year olds and upwards. Fields of six horses here going the distance of ground of 1,200 meters or the distance of ground of six furlongs on a most likely wet Saratoga main track. 1,200 meters, six furlongs. My top selection here. I like the number one horse, Vertical Oak. I'm going to go 1-3-6-5 in the Superfecto. 1-3-6-5 Super. I would go 1-3 in the multi-race, but my top selection, one horse, Vertical Oak, 8-1, to 4 year filly by Giant Oak. Ricardo Santana Jr. is on this one. You know, he's, he's starting off to have a good Saratoga meeting. He's 9 for 3, 33%, uh, you know, win strike rate uh, for the first week of the uh, meeting, which isn't half bad for him. Um, Steve Asmussen, Asmussen through the first week is 7-2. and two. 
two. So he's having a decent beat so far also uh, with a few second place finishes. But this horse, if the ground is very wet, he should, he, or she should really like it. Um, most recent out, he came 23rd of uh, June at Churchill, six furlongs in Roxolana. This horse finished third by one and three quarter lengths there. Um, you know, do it a little bit early on, and then he just kind of hit the wall. Just couldn't keep up with those horses there. Um, you know, just looking over his running line, I don't think this horse really liked Churchill that day. Um, you know, it was, it was very warm also, uh, so maybe the weather had something to do with it. Before that, in Ski Pad of Himlico, six furlongs on the slot, May the 18th. Horse won by one and a half lengths. A little bit wide, but this horse just had a very good going away victory there. And then the carousel at Oakland, six furlongs on the slop, April 7th. Horse finished third by two and a quarter lengths. First off the layoff, this horse needed the race. It wasn't a bad race, but she needed the race there. She quickened up a little bit, but it wasn't enough uh, to win. Um, and then a Keelan, six furlongs in the TCA uh, last October. Horse finished seventh by ten and three quarter lengths. Just really never got into it. It was a tough race, and uh, you know it wasn't her day to win. But she has won here at Saratoga. She won the prior race last uh, September on a very sloppy going by five and a half lengths going away at the end and uh, then before that here at Saratoga in the test her only local loss she finished fifth by seven and a quarter lengths very tough grade one she dueled early on then she just hit the wall around the far turn you know it wasn't her day to win but like I said wet race course really be to her liking if she breaks well if she sets some easy fractions on the front end I think she could go with it eight to one Watch out for her. Also, I think uh, a horse you definitely want to use on your multi-race ticket is the three-horse Kirby's Penny. Uh, John Velasquez on this five-year-old mare by Macho Uno. Wesley Ward trains. This horse was supposed to run in the Caress on, uh, on Monday, but uh, since that race stayed on the turf, they're pointing her to this race now. Um, her, her most recent outing came in the Bargain Sea at uh, Belmont, six and a half, May the 12th. She won by one and a half blanks there. She stopped a little bit early got the lead and then she took off clear maybe a little wide around the turns but she, she got the victory there at seven to one beating shallan who's actually running back in this one today um you know it, it, it was a good race there she actually won two in a row before that keeneland six and a half rungs off six two claimer she won by four and a half lengths almost on the lead all throughout after a little bit bad beginning she just had a nice victory there off the break and then before that keeneland in the fall seven rungs off six two claimer horse in second by two and a quarter lengths there didn't have the best of moves that day and you know it wasn't the best story it wasn't you know the worst race but it wasn't the best race either um you know and, and then before that here at saratoga and a sloppy going six furlongs launch race eighty five thousand. she won by three and a quarter lengths there um and, and she just had a easy going away victory she's a horse that likes saratoga also she's another horse that likes the wet going i'll take my chances with her but five to two absolutely sucks on this horse so hopefully maybe we can get some better odds at post time hopefully they bet uh fapian and finley's lucky charm into the ground and we can get maybe nine to two maybe but i highly doubt it but to recap my selections now from the ninth race from saratoga it's the 27th running of the grade two honorable miss handicap top selection i'm going to use the one horse vertical oak gonna go one three six five in the superfecta i'll go one three in a multi-race so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five